Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your three month forecast. So month one, month two, and month three. So from the date you watch this is the date you, that you start counting. Okay, so month one, month two, month three. We're going to start here, then here, then here. We're going to get one of these, one of these, and then we're going to get these. I'm a stickler for shuffling on the camera, so that is what we are going to do. Um, they're all going to be delivered in the upright because that's what I have chosen to do for these three month uh, forecasts. I don't usually do that. I had somebody comment on one of my other ones. Oh, you should. Why? Why do readers not do reverse? Obviously, she's never watched me before. Anyhow, this for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, in Venus. What do we got for a three-month forecast for Gemini? Month number one, please. I'm an intuitive reader, just so you know. Month number two. So, you know, I do reversals, but I don't really need to. The card gives me the message. Month number three. I could sit here and give you a message without the cards. Not saying that you guys said that. It wasn't on your reading, so I, I don't I'm I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Anyhow, month number three, month number three. It was on the Pisces reading. So month number one, month number two, month number three. Month number one, please. We only want one card. Month number one. Month number two. And month number three. Month number one, please. Month number one. Month number one. Month number one. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Month number two. Month number two. One more card for month number two. And month number three. Month number three. One more card for month number three, please. And an overall energy for the next three months. An overall energy for the next three months. Page of Wands. So, this is news. This is some sort of news arriving. This could be a new suitor arriving into your life. But you may, I mean, it is, it, as you saw, it did come out reversed. You may need to choose another path. There could be somebody that is distracting you from your new adventure, because this is a new adventure. This is an exciting time the next three months. It's very exciting. Try to stay focused. Try and make sure that you're not looking back. You may have a child or somebody in your past or somebody that is blocking you or hindering you or keeping you down, a Debbie Downer in your life. Okay? So it, it looks to me as though there's another opportunity for you and, and it's exciting, but you have somebody here that is kind of restricting you. It could even be yourself. There could be a lack of confidence. 
or lack of, there could be a self-image problem here. Um, either way, this is good news. So something good is coming. It is coming as long as you can stay focused. You got a new partner, a new sexual partner. But it's not, you know, when this card comes up, and if this isn't sexual related, I'm sorry to start out like that. If it's not relationship related, it could be work related. It could be uh, any kind of contract. You have something different than where you're at. That's what this is. That's when the lover's card comes up. It's when it's like when you have your eye on something, but that's not it. That's what, that is what I got here too. So this is an unexpected choice, an unexpected partnership within the next three months, an unexpected choice that you are going to have to make. It's like all of a sudden Cupid or the universe or whatever this, however this pertains to you, brings you something that is meant for you. It's meant for you and you're like, oh my God, now I got to choose? That's what this is. So this is a better suited opportunity for you to do something other than what you're doing right now. And you're going to be presented with some sort of decision or choice. And it is very unexpected in the next three months. So let's start with month number one. Rainbow Dragon. Very nice. We're going to read that one. Uh-oh. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Not for you. It's like you, you're you with somebody that is not for you. Or it's a contract. There's something that you are dealing with. You see it says nope in the cookie. Uh, so I don't know if you can see it. But it says nope in that fortune cookie. Nope. That's not it. You got something that is better suited for you, whether it's your job or it's a partner. Um, ooh, the tower. The queen of swords. Oh, my goodness. So you are going to be in control. This is a universal change. And if you're watching this in October, so right now it's being recorded on October 8th. So say from October 9th to November 9th is month number one depending on whenever you watch it. That's just an example. This is an unexpected uh, event. You got something that is going to happen in October. This is a fated change of, you know, this is um, like the universe coming to clean something out of your life that no longer serves you, whether you like it or not. But you're going to be in control. You're going to have the power in your hands. Hanged man could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with another with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I think this is you. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh my goodness. So Gemini. This is, this is a, a card of faith, of believing. There's a higher power involved here. So October looks as though you're going to need to have faith. That this change is happening for a reason. This is a fated event. This is Uranus or Uranus, however you say it. Doesn't matter to me, but to some people it does. This is Uranus coming in and this is major change. Something drastic. So you're about to face some sort of drastic upheaval in your life. Somebody may get kicked out. Okay, somebody may get thrown out. There could be a structure that is falling apart. It could be your job. It could be. It doesn't have to be. But it could be your, something in your home. Something in your uh, structure is changing. Whether it's the place of where you live or the place where you work or your relationship. There's about to be some major upheaval. Okay? This is a shock. It's probably going to be a shock to your system. But... What I, you've been stuck. You've been in a state of limbo. You've been in a state of suspension. And maybe even a state of confusion. Or you. this could cause a state of confusion. It could It could make you feel like you are, are stuck. Um, 
whatever this is, I feel like this is going to bring you something. There's some value in it. Okay. It's going to bring you something valuable. Um, in the end, it's going to make you happy because this is a card of satisfaction. So you will be satisfied and maybe you haven't been satisfied. Somebody may have been getting satisfied someplace else. I, I'm just being honest with you. Um, whatever is happening, it, whatever this universal change is, it's going to bring you some, 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 some sort of abundance. Okay. Because this is abundance and this is abundance. Okay. Something that is going to give you some sort of, uh, power. Okay. It's going to give you some sort of power. You may even, if you are single and you are watching this, you know, you may be getting into a new commitment. Like with that lover's card, that's an unexpected choice in love. Or it's an unexpected choice, period. There is a new suitor here. Whether you're in a commitment now or not. There, or this is a new suitor. Whether it's a new job or it's a new um, partner. Okay, this is this is a new suitor. Um, but there is, like I, like before these cards even came out, there's somebody for you. There's somebody that is in your life right now. That you may be hung up on. You may be clinging to this person. Or you may be tied to this person in some way. Or something like that. And it's like they, they're distracting you. They're distracting you. And that person, whoever this person is, that person is a no. It's a no. And it's like the universe sees that. So you're going to need to have faith and believe that there is a higher power involved. And I think that you are going to see that. I think that you are going to see a situation clearly. I think that um, you're, you may have to think quick during this time. You may have to think quick. You may have to, you know, be logical and grounded with your decision. Um, this probably has to do with some sort of commitment. Um something legal I don't know it doesn't have to be legal but I feel as though whatever is happening in October there it does start with some sort of major universal change okay so the universe comes in and uh, breaks something out of your life okay it just like pew, like uh, this is a shock this is all of a sudden, uh, it's very sudden, all of a sudden something changes and it's, it's drastic. It's drastic. And, and with this Queen of Swords, you may even feel, you may even feel a little bitter over the whole situation. You know, it's like you're forced to look at things from a new perspective. It's like you're forced to see the truth. It's like, boom, here it is. There's your truth. So you're going to, you're going to see the truth. Probably about a commitment, uh, something that you are involved in. It's like, there it is. You get your answer. You get the truth. <laughs> the queen of the queen of pentacles is somebody that is stable. You're on. You're thinking quickly, thinking about your stability, thinking about your value. That's what's going to happen. Whatever happens is going to make you think about your value. What are you worth? Let's clarify this tower card in October. What is this tower? What is this tower card? Let me make sure that this is zoomed in. What is this tower card in October or month number one? Oh, I just flipped. Can't help it. Four of Swords. The death of something. I'm sorry. Upright or reversed. This is the death of something in your life. Something is ending. And it's like you need to take a break from this. It's exhausting. It's stressful. There's frustrations. You're going to be tested. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So you're going to be tested. Um, you are absolutely going to be tested in October. I feel like you're going to need to be practical. It's almost like somebody that... some. It's almost like somebody does something that shocks you. 
and it's going to test your value. You're going to your value is going to be tested in October, Gemini. You're probably going to be frustrated. It is reversed. I have a hard time not doing reversals. But I think that your value is definitely going to be tested. I think that there's going to be some sort of imbalance, okay? This is imbalance. Something is is not evolving as it should. And you're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to be patient because this is exchanging. This is if you this is exchanging something negative for something positive. Okay? Uh, just so you know, things are about to change for you. This is this is a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. So Gemini, I feel like something is about to be removed from your life. And you may feel like you need to sleep. This may this may you may feel like you don't even want to get out of bed because this happens. You may feel like you don't you know you're 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 uh you're definitely gonna be tested, put it that way in October. Um What is this hangman? That's the state of confusion. You're probably going to be confused. But there's a reason for this. The reason that this destruction happens, this disruption, there's good, this is a disruption. The rate, the, this is a reason. There's a reason it happens because you deserve to have it all. You deserve to, to be have abundance. You deserve to have something stable. You deserve to have something solid. You, you're, you're worth it. You're worth it. The end of something. The end of the end of something. Okay, this is the Ten of Swords. It's like <sighs> an end of a stressful situation that you have been hanging on to. That's the hangman. You've been hanging on to something, and this is the end. It's the end in October. It is the end. It's like you're holding on to your value. And now you got a made you you've this is your test. You've passed. You're going to pass this test and you're going to come out victorious. This is victory and success. Closure, the end. The end of one phase, the end of one cycle. You have a new beginning here. This is coming together with something that you are meant to be with, with that lover's card. I think whatever test, that, you're going to be tested by something. And it's going to it's going to exhaust you. This test is going to mentally exhaust you. You're going to go through a state of confusion. You're, you might go through a state of despair. You might get frustrated by it. But there's a reason why this happened. And I think that you're going to realize that fairly quickly. I do. I think that you're going to see it quickly. It's like you're going to come to terms with it quickly. Because you know your freaking value. That's what it has to do. Deal with. And I feel like, um, I don't know, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is really big here as well. It feels like we got somebody here that's coming you in and it's like they've been offering you crumbs or they're still offering you crumbs and they move really, really slow and they... It's like they don't even really show their face half the time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I feel like this person um is about to get th whoever this person it's like they get thrown right out of your life. Because you deserve something. You're going to receive something. You deserve something. You deserve reciprocation. So I feel like this first month you're going you're going to be receiving something. It's going to what's going to happen is you're going to receive balance from this. It's like your life will balance out. Things will be more easy. Things won't be so up and down like they have been. It's like all of a sudden it's like you're 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 
I just saw like the flat line, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that anything bad is going to happen to you. It's like, I'll, instead of it being like this, you know, it's going to be like this. There's no, it's like the, this roller coaster ride is over. It's done. And balance and harmony and peace comes back. So happiness, it's like, boom. You pass this test. You are going to pass the test. You are. I think you're going to make the right decision. Whatever this, because you do have to make a choice. And I think you're going to make the right choice. Whatever it is, I think that you are going to make the right choice. So congratulations. And this is ending a stressful situation. Ending a betrayal. It's, it's over. It's done. This is the completion of one chapter. It is completely done. You've come as far as you can go and it is time. It's time to step over that finish line. You're starting a new life. You're starting a new chapter. This is your major new beginning. It's like it, there's no more unfinished business. It's done. Let's read these cards. Rainbow Dragon. Rainbow Dragon. Oh, I opened right up to it. Holy moly. That only happens once in a while. Be honest with yourself and others. Release your burdens. Floating with the golden ascension rays, the rainbow dragon is making you aware of what is required for you to act in truth and honesty. It makes sense. Bringing the vibration from the golden ray, the rainbow dragon opens connections to your higher self. The central sun, the angelic and ascended master realms while centering you in the present. Through the dragon's movements, the frequency and vibration of the rainbow spectrum dissipate negative blocks and karmic debris. You're getting rid of a karmic. You're getting rid of a karmic. But only if you are willing to accept the change required to break down walls and barriers that stop you from moving forward. I mean, unbelievable. So, powerful and unstoppable. Once you activate your rainbow dragon, prepare for swift and sudden change. And there is going to be swift and sudden change in month number one. Bringing harmony and change in a positive direction. Interesting. The rainbow dragon is a protector, harmonizer, destructor, and creator all in one. Connecting to the elements, the dragon is here to assist you in raising your vibration and consciousness through the energy of the elements. Right now, honesty is required in all areas of your life. When you begin to unburden yourself, you allow yourself to be open to the gifts of the universe. Now is the time to get busy with removing all that does not serve you. And that's what you're going to be doing in October. And the universe is here to assist. So be prepared. It's like the universe is in control and you're in control too. Okay, we got you in control and we got the universe. It's like you two are going to be working together to remove something from your life. It's like the universe uh, shows you something or causes some sort of disruption that, you know, gives you the option to do the right thing based on your value, based on your worth. I hope you choose the right thing. I think you're going to. I, I do because I see victory and success here. Not for you. I mean, that card pretty much speaks for itself. But we are going to read it anyway. A clear knowing that something is not for you. Rejection is God's protection. Or it's a clear knowing that something is being denied to you. There are times when it appears that no matter how deeply you desire something, no matter how hard you work at something, the result you seek always seems to elude you. It's as if you don't really get to be in the game and you feel you're just watching from the sidelines. The appearance of this card indicates that you are not going to attain what you want right now. That indeed your dreams for that exact, that exact thing, like I said with the lover's card, will not be fulfilled. This is a time to radically accept that not everything is available to you when you want it. Take heart, for there are benevolent vo forces that desire, or are who desire, the best for you and have a much clearer idea of what is for your highest good. I told you there's a higher power involved. There is, with the Hierophant card. Anyhow, rejection is God's protection. 
something much better that will make you truly happy is on its way. And I see that. I see that. So some there's a reason for this. You got a, you got something coming that is going to make you extremely happy. You got a new beginning here. But you have to end that old cycle first and remove this uh, unhealthy, false sense of security that you have been hanging on to. And the universe says, okay, right now, you're going to pass this test or not. And that is month number one. Let me just move this up a little bit. Now we are going to move on to month number two. Month number two, or could be November. Month number two. Soul journey. Imagine, imagine, you're going on some sort of journey. This is like a soul healing as well. This is some, your soul is healing. It's like you're, you're evolving. Imagine the possibilities. This is going to be beautiful. I believe November is going to be beautiful. Five of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Well, I don't know how beautiful it's going to be. It's definitely going to be some freaking conflict. Oh, boy. You're kind. It's like you're kind of worried here. You. It's like you got a big opportunity, but you're not so sure about it. It's like you do. It's like you've manifested something big, but it's a little. It's like you've never done this before, or you know you're not familiar with it, and it's a little scary. So you do got something here that it's big. You've got a big opportunity here, but it's like hmm, not so sure. King of Wands. And the seven, and you're not so sure. This is a complex decision, okay? So you have options, you have choices. I feel like you are definitely going to be struggling with the decision that you, decisions, the choices that you are presented, definitely. You may have competition. You may have many options. You may have more than one option in November to choose from. It's like this is a competition, and this is a competition. Really, it is, okay? So I think that... Um, you're going to have to make some sort of complex decision as to, you know, what path you want to go down. If you really want to go down that path or not. Um, I feel like you've got somebody pushing you. It's like you've got somebody egging you on. Somebody that is trying to get you to go in one certain direction. And you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm unsure about this. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could meet this person through your job, or you could you could have met them through your job. I don't know. Um, this is some sort of uh, crisis, though. This is a conflict, and this is a conflict. So you got so you've got a conflict here. This is like a fight. This is a fight. Um, there's definite tension. There, this is tension tension over you know what is the best option what is the best choice for me do I really want to do this definitely it's a month of being unsure I feel as though you are needing to be confident you're going to need to be strong and you're and you're going to need to go after what you're passionate about I feel as though you will be in control. You're the boss. You have you have the authority <clears throat> this month. You will be the one making the decision as to what who you want to work with. Who do you want to work with? Um, I think that you're you just you have a couple options here. You have more than one option. Put it that way. You may have somebody that cheated on you or somebody that betrayed you plus somebody else. You know, somebody that lied to you, whatever. And now you, you, you're still choosing. I feel as though, you know, maybe you received an apology from somebody. You received an apology, and it's a big apology. And it, it seems like this is what you asked for, right? You asked for this apology, or you asked for this gift. 
whatever it is, whether it's a job or an apology or whatever, you asked for it. Um, it's like somebody has given it to you. They've, they've taken action and they've given it to you. And now you're like, is this too good to be true? Are you going to hurt me again? What are your motives? What are your motives? So I feel like in November, you're closing a door. I mean, in October, you're closing a chapter. You're passing a test, right? Something has come to a complete halt with that world card. It's done. It's over. You, you've completed something in October. A lesson. You've learned your lesson. You're done with it. In November, you have some sort of uh, tug of war, struggle, uh, conflict that, you know... You don't know what to do. You don't, you, you're confused. You are definitely confused. You're confused as to whether, you know, what, what, what should you do? Who should, what should I do? It's like, because I think in October you, you shut, or the universe takes somebody out of your life. And it's like, now it's a, it's a fight to, maybe it's a fight to move on. It's a fight to start over. You know, to rebuild, to really start at the beginning, to learn new things, to do new, th do new things. It's like, it's like you're being pushed and you don't want to be pushed. It's like you don't, you're not, you don't want to be pushed. You've definitely been through some sort of conflict or there's going to be some sort of conflict. Adversity. You're going to be faced with some sort of adversity. And this is a card of consequences. So there's consequences for the choices that you make. And I think that you will probably realize that. And I think that you're definitely going to be a little bit confused this month. You may have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that wants to work with you. You know, they got something for you. And you're just like, I don't know. This seems too good to be true. That's what it looks like to me. Oh yeah, this is a dream come true. Is this too, is this, is this what I, this is what I asked for. So yeah, it's like you've got something that you asked for and you're like, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I just don't know. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. So I think that you will be scared. I think you'll be scared because you were betrayed. You were betrayed and you were probably belittled and you were probably brought to the, your knees by somebody else or whatever. And, you know, you're, you don't want to, you don't, it's like you don't want to, you don't want to play any games with anybody. And this person is so passionate, right? This person is so passionate and it's like they're everything you ever asked for. And you're like, damn, this is too good to be true. So be prepared, be prepared. Okay. Um, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, they, they're going to put in effort and they're going to try hard. They are going to try hard. They're gonna, they're, they're really, really, really gonna want you to give them a chance to move forward with them. It's like they've come to the, to your rescue. You've been through, and I know you have. You've ended something the month before. All of a sudden, this person has arrived. They're here, and it's like they want you to go with them. It's like just come with me, just come with me. That's what I see. Oh, page, and you're like, no, it's just stop. It's reverse. It's like no, I'm. You're trying. You might try to stall them. That's what I think. I think that you're going to try to stall them. You're going to try to just be like, mm, you may be afraid. You may be afraid. We've got justice reversed. So this is, this is, um, not true. You may feel like this person is not telling you the truth. This is an injustice. King of Swords. It's like you're going to be totally investigating this person. <laughs> I think that you will be. You're probably going to be investigating, watching this person like a hawk. Uh, thinking about whether you should give this person a chance or not. You are, this is, this is probably, um, somebody that you are very, very, uh, compatible with. This is your new suitor. This is your new suitor. This person shows up in October and it just seems like this person is your perfect match. You feel like this person, it's like, where did you, it could be an Aquarius, could be a Gemini or a Libra or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
whoever this person is, it's like you're going to try to stall them. You may try to push them away. It's because they've they've come towards you. They're putting in all this effort and they're giving you things. It's almost like they're giving you gifts. They're taking you places and you're like, oh, this is this is too good to be true. Let's read these cards. Soul Journey. Let me just shut this leg off. There we go. Soul Journey. This is a life lesson. Learn from this experience. From the moment you choose to return to earth in this incarnation, you decided to be a conscious create creator of your life's journey. Your story, as you have written it, is held within the records of the Akashic temples and can be assessed, viewed, and experienced at any time. Organized like a library, the Akashic or Akashic temple holds the records of each soul's journey energetically within the astral plane. Thoughts, feelings, actions, deeds, past lives, purpose, and soul lessons are all recorded within this place. Acting as a spiritual database, every human process we experience is recorded. Events, births, deaths, marriages, and other life events can be reflected upon at any time. Your individual record is protected by your guardians who ensure that permission is granted and safe access is available at your request. The integrity of the Akashic is never compromised as a result. Right now you are experiencing a life lesson and it starts in October, okay, towards the end of October. Right now you are experiencing a life lesson. Whatever you're the outcome, know that this lesson is for a reason. We talked about this already. Even if you are unaware of it, it is important that you become mindful of your experiences, acknowledging decisions and actions that have led you to this moment. Ask yourself, what is it that I need to learn from this situation? How am I affected by it? What can I do that will help me correct this negative course of action? How can I improve my soul's connection to my higher purpose? What can I do to support humanity? While you may be unable to see a way out of your circumstances right now, this will pass and you will soon be shown the reason for recent events for what happened in October. You're going to be shown why. Because you got somebody else. That's what it is. It's important to recognize the value of your experiences and resolve past issues and patterns from the experiences of lessons learned. Co-create a beautiful life with new perspectives. The choice is up to you. Where do you want to go from here? And you are going to be making a choice. Absolutely. Imagine. You've manifested something. We talked about this. Turning imagination into manifestation. Creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals or meditating. Allow the power of creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. Well, that's romantic. If you want this relationship to be real, remember I said, is this real? Is it too good to be true? You need to go for it. You need to go for it. Not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond your daydream into the reality. Beyond illusion and into fruition. <laughs> Relationships are about relating. So step on to the dance floor. Whether imagination partners with... with where, where imagination partners with what you have manifested. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined 
will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. A person with the attributes you have imagined will enter your life. Thank the Lord Jesus. We're moving on to month number three. Month number three. Or December. What do we got for month number three? That thing just like focus out. What the hell is the matter with that thing? Weird. I didn't touch nothing. Odd. Anyhow, I picked up the cards. I picked up the cards for month number three. I think I'll just put it in there so you guys can see it. And it was all blurry. So I was like, what the, what, what the fuck? Just so you know, so I'm like, what? So I hit stop to see what was going on. Very odd. Anyhow, month number three. I am going to put it in there because it's, um, it's got to be a meaning. Things are foggy. Blurry. Things are a little blurry. Whatever. I didn't touch nothing on the camera. Nothing. Very odd. Anyhow, month number three. Retreat. Deep knowing. So retreat. You may need to retreat in December. Deep knowing. You know what you got to do by the sounds of things. Let me get these right. The devil. Knight of Swords. Six of Cups. Death. Two of Wands. And the Ace of Swords. Looks like December's going to be a fun month. Oh boy. Real fun. Real fun. Definitely. So, you are definitely going to have a deep knowing with this Ace of Swords. You are going to absolutely know what you need to do. There is, uh, there's the past. We do have the past. You may have the past rushing after you. Somebody that is toxic, unhealthy. Son of a bitch, because it ain't over yet, although we thought it was, right? You've made a decision in October that it's over. Then we, I don't know, we have this past. Somebody from the past. Now, somebody from the past could be somebody from your childhood. Somebody that you went to school with. Rushing towards you, or they're in your life, they're, they're moving towards you. There's passion. There's, uh, you're tempted. You're very tempted by this person. But there is a, this is a card of change and release and transformation. Seeing a situation clearly. This has ended. This is toxic. I think this is somebody that you have been with in the past that is rushing towards you. And you're going to have to make a decision. And you know what you need to do. You've got this new suitor. You have a new suitor now. And you got somebody from the past that will not give up. Sorry for the aggressiveness. But apparently you are going to need to be aggressive. You got somebody who's codependent on you. It's like they're obsessed with you. Somebody is obsessed with you, Gemini. It's over. It's done. You made the decision that it's done. This person will not give up. Who the hell is this person? Somebody from your past. This could be anybody. I mean, it could be a child even. I don't know who it is. It could be a partner that you've been with. Somebody that you've known for a really, really, really long time. It's like they want you and they that's the way it goes. They want you and they're not going they're not gonna give up on you. It's like no. Choose me. Choose me.
somebody that you have already ended things with. It's like they, they want what they want. They're obsessed. And you're going to have to, you're at this, you don't, this is like, you're going to have to be aggressive. You are going to have to be aggressive. Oh boy, this looks fun. Anyhow, um, I think you guys have, you know, you have ended this toxic. You have ended this situation. You have. Yes, you have. That's the, that's the death of the idea. You've ended it. You've ended it. You're done with it. You've reflected on it. You've taken, you've taken yourself away from this situation. You're not giving to it anymore. I mean, I have a hard time not doing reversals. Anyway, you're not giving it to it, to it anymore. And this person is jealous. This person is jealous of your new suitor. Oh boy. Fun, 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 fun. So yeah, you got somebody that is jealous and they don't want you to let them go. What the hell is this? Who is this person? What else do we need to know? You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Um, could be even a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, this person from your past, it's like they don't want you to get committed to somebody else. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the truth. I mean, it feels like they're, they, they want to come back. They want, they ghosted you, they left you behind, and now they want to come back. Oh my God. Somebody from your past that left you behind and ghosted you and didn't commit to you is now jealous of your new suitor. Now this is this is a this is a death and this is a death. It is the death of a toxic, unhealthy situation. You know the truth. You know who this person is. You know that they are untrustworthy. You know that they are toxic. You know that they are unhealthy. This person has addictions and this person is codependent and they are not happy that you have a new suitor. You're going to have to make some sort of decision. You're going to be presented with a gift. So this Somebody is going to give you something big. Big, big, big. A big, 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 huge offer. You are going to get a big, huge offer from somebody. Maybe even marriage. It's like they might even propose to you. Somebody might, you may get proposed to in December. But you're distrustful. There's hard feelings. You've been wounded. And you have somebody here that is determined. To not let this end. They don't want it to end. But I think that you are going to persevere. <laughs> I think that you are going to persevere. I think you have a bigger opportunity. I think that you're probably going to. You're probably going to just like. Oh my. This is a tough, tough, tough decision. It is a tough decision. <coughs> You're going to be making a tough decision. You have a golden opportunity here. Between two paths. Two people. And you're going to get... You're, you're probably, you're probably going to be like... Really? Like, this is like on your knees. And that's what I feel. It's going to be like, oh my God. This is tough. This is really tough. It's like you have a, a, a choice between somebody from your past and somebody new. <clears throat> and you are going to be overwhelmed. You are going to be overwhelmed.
it's like you're still, you haven't, comp it's, this is, like you haven't let go, or they haven't let go. Somebody hasn't let go. And they're looking at the death. They're looking at the end. It's like, whoever you are, I think it's the person you are dealing with, they're looking at this being over. They know it's over. They know it's over too. And they don't want to drop it. They don't want to let it go. And you're going to have to stand your ground and protect yourself and push this person away. And you want to know why? Because you got somebody else. This is your, you got a choice between two people in the next three months. Month number three, you're going to really, really, you're still going to be dealing with it. So October, you, you close a chapter, you close it, it's over, it's done with that world card. You stepped over the finish line, you've made that decision. In November, you're falling for somebody else. Somebody else is falling for you. They're pampering you. They're, they're giving you gifts. They're taking you out. Blah, 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 blah. Month number three, you got to choose between both of them. The, the one that you said no to in October or whenever. You said, I'm done. I don't care about you. Kick rocks. And then the, the, the new guy or the new girl or whoever it is. And now this, this, this past person is like all of a sudden it's it, it is all of a sudden they're like trying hard they can't let go they they want to fight for you they want to fight for you now it's like fight to the death you know and it's like what it's already over you got somebody else so what it what the hell this looks fun yeah yeah, this is a karmic, it's a karmic, karmic contract. You ha are going to be dealing with a karmic contract. Somebody that didn't want to be held accountable. Somebody that treated you unfairly. Somebody that lied to you that all of a sudden, all of a sudden wants to fight for you. And the only reason they want to fight for you is because you have somebody else. And they don't want, they don't want to, you know, you to get in a commitment with this new person. So it looks as though December, you're probably going to be presented with a choice. Somebody's, they may come to you with a ring or some big, huge gift. I don't know. You're going to, you pro, somebody is going to get a huge, huge gift from somebody. Huge. And it's not just a Christmas gift either. This is something abundant. This is something that leads to a solid you know, partnership. This is something that you can, this is something that is valuable. A very valuable gift. Meaningful. Um, oh, what's sentimental. So you're going to receive, be receiving a gift from somebody that has sentimental value. This is from somebody that is from your past. I don't know if it's an ex or who it is. And it feels like this person has abandoned you, abandoned you in the past, or they have rejected you in the past. They've left you behind. They uh, ghosted you. They treated you badly. They did. They didn't want to be held accountable. They lied. Whatever they did, they, they were not, they didn't act with integrity. But now they want to fight for you now that it's over. So be prepared. Now, the Ten of Swords reverse. This is liberation. Finding the strength to not go back to that painful situation that stabbed you in the back. So you will be finding the strength, hopefully. What advice do you have for Gemini? One card for December. There's no victory and success. Don't go there. Don't go backwards. Know your value. Know your worth. I 
let's read this one. Retreat. Retreat. Spend time with nature. Seek silence and solitude. Within each season, nature is in perfect harmony with animals and plants. Secret gardens are bountiful, hidden away from the public and blessed in abundance of natural life. Being in nature allows you to naturally reset and recharge your energy fields by grounding your energy in the present. Being constantly available removes your ability to retreat and hibernate when your soul is crying out for solitude. You are definitely going to need some solitude. Nature brings all that we need to survive and it is within nature that you can remove yourself from any situation. Creating space between you and a particular issue will give you a better perspective. Your mind will become focused and clearer towards your goals, desires, and best course of action. Exhaustion, stress, and chronic fatigue are triggering your fight or flight response. Being in nature will assist your body in resetting its biorhythm, synchronizing your energy into natural cycles. Stress relief and emotional reprieve is achievable now if you recommit to placing yourself there first. A physical retreat such as a holiday may be in order. Now is the time to escape alone. Your soul requires solitude. Find a special place that you alone can call your own secret garden. It is here that you can pause and take rest, knowing that you are removed and hidden, hidden from the rest of the world. You can reflect and escape from interference and detach from group or family conflicts without guilt, finally receiving peace of mind in stillness and sunshine. Nurturing your empathic qualities gives you an opportunity to find joy and appreciate the beauty of simplicity. Stop and, spell, stop and smell the roses. Privacy is required at this time. So, you're going to be making a decision. And you're going to need to do it alone. So, maybe you need to go take a break from... Whatever this situation is, go on a little holiday by yourself to think about this. Deep knowing. Intuition. Listening to the oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with source. The consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to na navigate their journeys to assess their inner guidance. <laughs> That's funny. It is. People don't know how to tap into source. Anyhow. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to assess their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. <clears throat> Excuse me. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines. And find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. This is how I came up with my name, Soul Source Tarot, and that's why I'm an intuitive reader. Anyhow, um, and people don't understand it, but whatever. Um, you're given information, you are given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen 
and then act accordingly. And I've told people this so many times, but they don't get it. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. <laughs> oh my goodness. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from universal sources. Unbelievable. You already know what you need to do. You do. So trust yourself with this decision that you are about to make in December. You have a new suitor that is very well suited for you. Do not let the past... The past lesson coming from source. Okay, coming from source. Do not let the past lesson block you from abundance, block you from success, block you from having it all. You have somebody here that will be very well suited for you, somebody that you asked for, but this is a test. It's a test of your worth. It's a test of what you, what you really, really want. Do you really want abundance? Do you really want happiness? Do you really want that perfect match? Or do you want to repeat the last lesson? Good luck.